So as you may already know, PlanetScale, which by the way is the database service I was using for IconGeneratorAI.com, decided to remove their hobby plan and now you have to pay $40 a month for their database services. They also laid off a bunch of people from like their marketing and sales teams as well. Kind of weird that this transition happened this abruptly. But in all honesty, $40 a month for a database isn't that expensive, especially if your service is making money, which my IconGeneratorAI.com is. I make around like a thousand or so every month. So paying $40 for a database isn't that big of a deal, but I'm cheap. And so I decided to migrate off of Planet Scale, and I wanted to walk you through how you can do it yourself if you were maybe using their hobby plan. So the service I migrated to is Railway, but there's tons of other services out there. The one reason I picked Railway is because they have MySQL. As you may know, Planet Scale is basically a MySQL database under the hood. Let's just go ahead and create a MySQL database in Railway. Again, this isn't sponsored. This is just my, I, I wanted to get off of Planet Scale as fast as possible, and I've used Railway before, and I know they have MySQL. So I said, let's just spin up a MySQL database here, get my data off Railway, and cancel my account. So that's the first step is I need to spin up a database. The second thing you need to do is you need to get all of your data that's currently in your planet scale database out. Okay, now what I did is I went to my environment variables of Lambda and I just turned off my, my compute so that users who are currently using the system wouldn't just keep inserting data into the old database. I basically just turned my app off, which is fine if you can afford some downtime. Um, but once I did that, basically what you can do is you can run this command, pscale database dump, and then the name of your database and then the branch. So I have a main branch. And when you run this, that'll pull all your data from your database and put it in a table over here. As you can see, it's making some SQL files. This will have all my user information. This will have all my icons, my trial information. And it also has schemas that I can run in the new database to basically recreate everything. Now, unfortunately, you have all these like separate SQL scripts, which isn't the best developer experience. So what we want to do is we want to make a single schema file. So let's just go ahead and run this command. Basically, I want to concatenate all the files together into a single SQL schema file. Make sure I'm in the right directory. I should be able to run that, and that should make an all schema. I'm also going to combine all of these number scripts into an all SQL script here. Technically, you don't need to do this. You can just run the SQL scripts like in order if you want to. You just need to make sure the tables exist first before you try to insert the data. Anyway, so now that we have those two script files set up, we need to set up some information so we can run the MySQL command and basically ingest all of these scripts, all of these SQL statements. So let's go to our database here and let's click it. Let's go to variables and then I'm gonna grab some of the stuff like we need DB host. So let's click on this one, copy it. And by the way, I'm going to delete this database after this video, so don't think that you guys can do with any of the leaked information that I'll be showing here. Go ahead and paste in the username. And then for database, go ahead and grab that. You know, I'm also going to define the port here because I think this runs on a different port. And let's try running this command. I'm going to ask for a password. Okay, that finished running. Now let's double check. If you go to your table and click data, you'll see that now we have a bunch of different um, tables set up, right? So now we have to run the other script, which is the, let's see what it's called. I don't remember what I called it. Uh, it's all data. Go ahead and run that. Paste in the password. So this is taking a while, but if I go back to my SQL, you can see that now I have a bunch of data that is in that table, okay? And so that's kind of how you can migrate data off of one database into another. Obviously your mileage will vary depending on how much data you have. It may take a long time if you have a lot of data. Okay, and it's fully done now. And so at this point, what you do is you need to go into your application and you need to update whatever environment variables to point to this new table that's hosted in a different service and everything will just work. And that's what I did with my icon generator is I just basically went into the Lambda, I changed one environment variable so it connected to the different MySQL database. Now I do want to emphasize again, if you're trying to get off a of planet scale, you need to do it into a MySQL database because planet scale uses something called Vites, which kind of uses MySQL behind the scenes. I don't really know, don't know the details of it, don't really care, but keep that in mind. If you're migrating from a Postgres database to a MySQL database, you may run into inconsistencies and you may have to restructure how your scripts are set up and it's going to be a lot more work. So that's why I chose Railway again is because they have a MySQL host. 
Yeah, but my final thoughts on the planet scale, you know, increasing pricing and removing the hobby plan, I think it's kind of just made me think about the content that I create and my free tutorials. A lot of my tutorials, I may use third-party services that have hobby plans just because it's easier. But at this point, I think it might be a much better option to always use Docker and just host a MySQL database locally or host Postgres locally and basically let the viewer decide how they want to pay for a database. But yeah, I think if you really want to save money, like if you don't want to even pay for Railway, because I believe my database might cost around like 5 to $10 on Railway. If you want to save even more money, then you probably need to just rent a VPS or VM, install MySQL there, install Postgres there, whatever you need, and you'll be the one to manage that yourself. I highly recommend probably use Docker to host those things, but that's the next option. But ultimately you're gonna to have to pay. But I will say at the end of the day, I think the database is probably the most critical piece of infrastructure and you should be paying for it, right? If you wanna have good uptime and reliability, uh, make sure you pay for it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my little how to get off of planet scale walkthrough. If you did, give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Like always, I have a Discord channel. You guys are welcome to join. If you wanna find a place to kind of hang out or ask questions, have a good day and happy coding.